Um, as Chris said, uh, I'm Jonathan. I'm pleased to be joined by Scott Craig, who's the national sales manager for the northern part of the U.S. Uh, we really approach things as a team here at Key Digital, and you'll you'll see all of our contact info uh, at the last slide, um, along with Capital Sales. Uh, perfect place to purchase your key digital products, uh, extremely knowledgeable staff, and uh, everybody's here learning about this, not only uh, AV integrators, but also uh, some of the capital sales team. So we're really excited to show this new product to you. Um, uh, before we move into that, uh, it, this is something you can do on your own time if you want to just uh, write this link down, keydigital.org or .com, it brings you there. Keydigital.org slash web slash sign up. This is where you could create your Key Digital University profile. If you haven't done this in the last year or so, we've totally revamped it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and you've got loads of Cedia and Avixa Infocom uh, accredited courses there. You could get dozens of, uh, of uh, Infocom credits and I think it's something like uh, seven or eight CDA renewal units. So it's all right there. You could really turn uh, this potential downtime into due time. Although I know things are getting quite busy for a lot of folks and we're happy to be part of the busyness, if you will. Uh, so please uh, do consider us. Um, today, we're just gonna start off with a few slides on um, this new system of ours, KD Play, uh, bring your own device, BYOD for short. Uh, everybody loves BYOB, now you got BYOD, so uh, you're gonna love it as well. And um, we're gonna start off with a few slides and then we're gonna move into a demo. We're gonna keep it hopefully nice and short. I did drink a triple espresso this morning. Uh, some of you may know me by that nickname, Jonathan Triple Espresso Ferry. Um, and uh, and uh, so, you know, might do a lot of talking in a little bit of time. That's the plan. Then move over to the demo. Well, we'll show you guys um, how this product works because I have one here in the home office. So again, it's called KD Play. It's uh, the official model number is KD BYOD 4K because it's as the model number implies, bring your own device. And this is 4K, which is a huge perk versus some of the other uh, bring your own device systems that are out there. Um, Bring your own device really uh, is extremely popular right now because, well, there's so many different analysis. There's, there's the, the factor of so many uh, businesses rely so heavily on uh, freelancers these days is one of the factors. Freelancers come in with a variety of uh, equipment that they need to share their content on the screen. Um, BYOD is extremely popular right now because of uh, whether freelance or not, people need to show content from their iPhone, from their tablet, from their Android, from their PC, from their Mac, you know, uh, just depending on what department those employees might be in. Um, BYOD is extremely popular right now because companies are spending money on um, efficiency they are spending money on trying to make their team members, their, uh, their employees collaborate easier with less frustrations. Um, and the way to do that is to get rid of expensive proprietary systems for video conferencing, audio conferencing, uh, for the conference room itself. And this, uh, and, and even the connectivity itself was like a bouquet of of wires sitting at your table. And here we have a solution that removes all of that. Uh, companies are spending money because they want to retain employees. And it is proven in studies that this kind of technology helps you retain employees. And the other big thing that's really why is this popular? If you don't have a wire at the table that you're essentially tethered to by becoming the presenter, you don't have to touch a wire. So it's touch free, which is extremely important right now. And you don't have to sit close. As long as you're on the Wi-Fi network and you have Wi-Fi coverage, these four people that we're looking at on the screen right now, just as an example, could be sitting six, 10, 12, 20 feet apart if they really want to, to really effectively social distance. Meanwhile, kind of get back to the workplace a little bit. Um, 
you know, depending on the state, uh, the state rules and guidelines. Um, so there's really, this product is really go, uh, going to fill a lot of, um, you just see the, the appeal of it here. So uh, the employees come in and they, if you wanna show your content on the screen, you got it right there, the instructions on the screen. By the way, they can actually, uh, the integrator can actually uh, customize the background image as well. So um, if you wanted to turn it into more of like a um, signage, having a, a, a corporate branding on there, there you go. Um, here is the product front and back, a little closer view. So we designed this product to be really um, uh, end user friendly, but also we give the connectivity of uh, professional AV integrators, things like the audio D embed, dual uh, LAN ports, uh, multiple US, uh, uh, USB ports. We'll get into all these connections here as well as the uh, Wi-Fi antenna, it has its built-in Wi-Fi access point as well. Um, <clears throat> so you have those instructions on the screen and furthermore, you have uh, in the box, the KD, uh, KD Play Flash, we call it, like flash drive, or you're gonna plug this in, no software installed, uh, installation needed at all, and you're able to share your content really quickly in a flash. So there's a little bit of a double entendre going on there, or can you, is double entendre only used for, uh, you know, adult humor, not sure. But uh, KD Play Flash, <laughs> and uh, and actually, um, you see, uh, yeah, just again, accommodating newer connectivity and everything, you got the USB-C uh, in addition to the USB-A, and this comes in the box, also sold separately as well, if needed. And um, and this, this is that answer to the people that say, hey, this sounds great, how do we do this without any software install required? Um, once you plug this in or once you do have the software installed, um, this is what it looks like on a Windows machine and on a Mac machine. Um, you've got your, uh, your KD Play screens, we call them, uh, listed uh, because you may have multiple. You may have the conference room, you may have the training room, you may have the executive boardroom. And, uh, and then you have things like your setup and everything that we'll go into in, in, in more detail as well. From your iOS device, we are utilizing AirPlay, so that's built in, no apps required. And from Android, we do have the KD Play app available on the uh, Play Store, uh, where it works just like the PC version of the uh, KD Play app. Uh, HDMI output, again, it, uh, 4K, uh, up to 4K resolution, 4K at 30 frames, that is. Uh, 1080p resolution also supported. So uh, adding this to a conference room or huddle space doesn't necessarily require a huge upgrade in the technology. Um, if you still have 1080p displays that they're not really wanting to upgrade uh, immediately. Um, another amazing feature of this is that we do have multi-presenter mode. And uh, multi-presenter mode, uh, it, 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 the, the screen will auto accommodate. We'll show that during the demo. So you have full screen, a second presenter jumps in, you could have them side by side, third person comes in and puts it at the bottom, leading you to the fourth person where you have equally uh, sized quads. A lot like another, fee another product that uh, folks are accustomed to uh, here at Key Digital, our multi-viewer, KD MLV 4x2 Pro, right? And a huge, uh, very popular feature. Uh, because it is HDMI output, the BYOD 4K, um, that's native to Key Digital here. You guys are all already using Key Digital um, equipment for your HDMI. And so here's another newer product, um, KDPS 22 UTX. Uh, it's a transmitter um, with two HDMI in. So it's like a two by one switch. And so here's a solution where essentially you could have a wired connection and have wireless connectivity in the conference room with HE Base T extension up to 100 meters, 328 feet away. So this is really where we get into that uh, professional AV connectivity, um, which leads us to a very, very popular application these days. This is a conference room with dual monitors. Um, and uh, dual monitors, typically uh, these kind of applications, you've got 
uh, say you got somebody doing a presentation. They're going to show that content on the screen as the presentation, right, uh, to all of their colleagues in the room with them. And all the colleagues that are participating remotely, instead of just being tucked away on a video conference software on this laptop, you could actually, uh, with our dual monitor setup, it's basically adding a virtual monitor. So uh, this is a setting, as you see in the KD Play software here, just hit that checkbox, extended monitor, and it's like a virtual monitor is now connected so that out of that single laptop, just like you would do at your office where you have two monitors side by side, you could drag the video conferencing software to the uh, to one monitor and drag the presentation software to the other monitor and uh, one happens to be a wireless monitor that's connected virtually and the other happens to be uh, connected through the HDMI or in this case, you know, you, you can do this many different ways. Here we're showing our, uh, our uh, wall plate X 4 by one WUTX. It's four ends. It's got two HDMI, USB-C and display port. So this is really going to accommodate a variety of um, connectivity. Put that with your CAM USB, which if you happen to think the video quality looks pretty good today, um, I'm using our uh, CAM USB uh, PTZ camera. You got your pan, your tilt, your zooms. So if you wanted to do something like uh, zoom in to, uh, to something, you could do that with the uh, KD Cam USB. And it's just a USB camera. And um, so it goes through the USB connectivity layer of these products. So uh, just a little tangent there, a little, uh, a little um, uh, digression on some of the other Key Digital products. Again, because this is our native language here at Key Digital. Moving on from the HDMI connectivity to the uh, uh, network connectivity. Um, you noticed, uh, and I had alluded to earlier, these uh, dual uh, antennas. So they are, uh, the BYOD 4K is its own uh, wireless network, if you will. Um, when you plug it in right out of the box, it's its own wireless network. And you could just immediately join that network and cast to it. Um, in most applications, though, you're probably going to want to get this device on another network and you have to do that with uh, with a hard wire and we actually give you two uh, 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 LAN ports. One of them even supports PoE, so you don't have to uh, struggle to find the space for the power supply if that uh, space is an issue, as it increasingly is, always just getting tighter and tighter there. Uh, we give you those two LAN ports. Why? Imagine a corporate setup where you have a guest network and an employee network, a public network and a private network, if you will. And, um, and so you could actually uh, securely connect both of those into the BYOD 4K and there's no sort of uh, bridging of those networks whatsoever, completely secure. And, uh, and now your employees could access from the network, the Wi-Fi network they're typically on without having to hop networks. And similarly, any guests coming in, again, those freelancers and whatnot can join uh, and, and cast without having to join the employee network. Oops. Um, once you're on the network with this device or the network it's connected to, uh, if you needed to, uh, if you, one way of downloading the software is here, you, you load the, um, you, you just type in the IP address on the web browser and that's part of the instructions uh, we'll show you later in the demo. Uh, or the admin doing the setup of this is able to access it through the admin page again, which starts off with the um, with the uh, just typing in the IP address, you can do your setup of the network, your display settings, 4K, 1080p, etc. Um, security settings, there's uh, multiple security levels that's built into this. And, uh, and uh, just it's a really user friendly interface. Um, I can't stress this enough for those of you that on the integration side, who have done GUIs and everything, we put a lot of work into the uh, software side of this, whether it's the web GUI or it is the KD Play app itself, making that super user friendly. We really, really, really invested a lot of time into making this as friendly as possible. And because it's key digital, we have all of the hardware and software engineers in house. And, you know, we're going to continue to, to, to make improvements to this potentially. Um, you guys, if you start using it, if you have some feedback for us, let us know. That's how it always goes with Key Digital. We're always making improvements. 
Um, so uh, that brings us to the USB connectivity. Uh, there's three types of USB connections here. They have, uh, I mean, there's really no preference which one you're going to use. Uh, it's just really wanting to accommodate all the different USB connectivity that is out there for things like um, having a mouse connected. Uh, one of the things a mouse can do is uh, manage the content on the screen. So you see this, uh, you saw this image earlier of the dual uh, or multi presenter. Um, there's a little control dock with this uh, arrow here. And again, we're going to see everything larger on the demo portion, but uh, the moder that's a moderator panel. And you, you could actually stop anyone from uh, sharing content or make one of the uh, sharers um, full screen if needed through this, or you could mute and unmute those uh, presenters as well because when multiple people are presenting, you, you will get a mix of all presenters audio wise. Um, and uh, in the app itself, you have volume settings on the PC or the moderator can control that. And uh, that mouse also is uh, forwarded to the shared, uh, to the computer that's casting on the screen. So uh, part of the demo in fact will do. And, um, and if there's multiple presenters, it'll actually, the mouse can move over to a quadrant and click a button and it will, uh, that mouse forwarding will go to that specific computer. So it's really, really cool. Which of course, uh, what is uh, a really cool way or what, what's a cool, um, uh, not revision, but evolution of a mouse is touch screens and annotation devices. And we have those tools. So this is extremely packed. You know, you want to notate the content that's on the screen. If you have a touch screen monitor or an overlay, you can do that. Uh, if you want to just have a whiteboard on the screen with your touch screen so that your creative teams and uh, R&D teams in your company can do, um, can, uh, do a, a creative session, it's all built into the BYOD 4K to the KD Play system and you're able to save that work as well. And we'll show that in the demo portion. So that's just another way that the USB is used. And once again, this is native to Key Digital. You saw earlier uh, HD Base T transmit and receive set that has that USB layer. Um, and we also here have um, our KDX USB 2. This, maybe you guys don't know about this product, but once we released our webcam, which I just gave a really quick demo of earlier, once we released that webcam, we uh, found out pretty quickly that USB extenders are kind of a weird category because it's like there's some things that are $20 online and there's some things that are $200, $250 online and some things work, some things don't and it's not necessarily uh, indicative of the price point. Uh, so, um, so we decided to make a product XUSB2 that's just extremely reliable. Um, gives you 50 meters, 164 feet distance. So if that BYOD 4K isn't located right behind the touchscreen monitor, um, not a problem. Uh, or if you need to go to your computer, uh, actually the computer is wireless. So yeah, so actually just whoever's casting on the screen. So anyways, um, USB extender as well, right up our alley. The audio D embed. So if this is a little huddle space, you might be utilizing the uh, uh, TV speakers, the monitor speakers. But if it's uh, slightly larger than that, you might uh, have an amp or an audio system. And uh, here's just, for example, our KD Amp 220, two channel, 20 watt, and it's an amp or a preamp or and a preamp because it has an audio pass through. And when you apply things like the volume control or the microphone mix there to the audio coming in, um, that's even also, uh, if you were to adjust the mix level or the volume level, that comes out on the pass through port as well. So again, it's just uh, another layer of us knowing where the, um, you know, what's, what's needed in these professional installs to really get the job done, thinking about all that, packing it into this product to make it as effective as possible, as integrator friendly as possible, not just end user friendly, but also AV integrator friendly. We're always thinking about that. So um, yeah, uh, you know, this is kind of a thing for the end. So actually I'm gonna go ahead and switch it up for the live demo here. Um, let's see, whoops. Um, when I do this, I'm actually going to do, let me think about this. I'm gonna do two things. I'm going to be uh, dropping my webcam 
because I am going to uh, switch to a USB capture device. So stand by for five seconds. Okay, so I'm going to stop my screen share, which I believe um, will, uh, and Chris, maybe chime in for me if you don't mind, uh, just to confirm, but I believe we now have the uh, content on the screen here. We do. I'm looking at yep. uh, join BYOD. Awesome. Scott, you're hey. there too? Yeah. yeah, Chris, if you're the master there, do you want to just pin that so Jonathan can go full screen? Jonathan is actually the host, so he oh. has full control. Pin, pin Jonathan. Just oh, enter spot. full screen, I think. Yeah. There we go. Or no, spotlight it so you can oh, see. Spotlight. It'll look better. Uh, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Spotlight. Spotlight. Mm. Or pin video, right hand corner, couple dots. Oh yeah, a couple dots. I see a couple of dots. <laughs> uh, well, you know. Simple thing. Uh, no, I don't. I don't. Know. Oh, pin video. Cool. Here we are. Thanks. Um, okay. So again, I'm um, I come into the conference room, huddle space, etc. Uh, this is what I see on the screen. Your connection instructions, which you may notice is actually. Um, updated, uh, if you were paying close attention to the slides earlier, we added this fourth uh, option, which is the emphasized one, is the um, ability to connect uh, using the KD Play Flash, in fact. And um, so, uh, so actually, um, now I'm going to unplug one more thing. I knew earlier I needed to unplug my microphone as well. I'm gonna use the microphone of the computer because I'm going to now plug in my KD Play Flash just so you guys see how this looks. So. Chris, Scott, you guys hear me? Yep. Okay, thank you. Microphone is unplugged. <clears throat> So I come into the conference table, I've plugged in, and we see that the KD Plash uh, uh, um, folder does open, but it takes just a moment. The wheel starts spinning, and the software, there you are. Okay, comes up, it's connecting, and now we're going to get one of those things, guys. Uh, well, actually, no. Uh, now I am mirroring, okay? Um, and, um, and, uh, so I could do one of those warp things where I show the content on the screen that's being mirrored. I'm not going to do that quite yet, but this is what it looks like when you are mirroring. And again, the user, the app, if I wanted to do that extended monitor, um, we have stream mode prioritizing speed or quality. And here's your volume control or mute control if needed. Um, if you're, you know, uh, not wanting if, just to make sure that, uh, your audio is not going to the monitor, you can mute it, or we have this, uh, slider there. So really cool stuff. And if we need to just collapse it, we're able to do so. So I'm actually casting right now. And, um, and, uh, so instead of doing one of those things again, where I, um, do uh, the warp thing. Instead, what I'm going to do is uh, stop mirroring. Okay. And I'm going to head back on over here. Uh, and uh, you guys could see the, 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 the menu again, right? And uh, Scott, Chris, you guys did just see all that as I plugged in the USB and the software opened, correct? Yeah, it's just really blurry, Jonathan. I'm surprised. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't look so blurry to me. I think this is just a factor of the USB capture. Um, on the screen, obviously, it looks really crisp, but Scott, thanks for uh, pointing that out. I want everybody to know it, it's not going to look like blurry yeah. on the screen. <laughs> it it's, clear, it's clear now in the yeah, smaller it, window. It did okay. Good deal. Oh, Dwayne Rains is with us. Dwayne Rains is the... Uh, Southern uh, United States National Sales Manager. Uh, thanks for joining us, Dwayne. No problem. Uh -oh. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> no. 
You're good, my man. So say I'm uh, teaching a course and I just throw my uh, uh, content on from my iPhone. Not a problem whatsoever. And uh, let's say, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm just doing this Spanish lesson in Espanol, right? And uh, we're talking about emotions here today, aren't we? Well, uh, actually, what I'm able to do is um, go ahead and uh, let's see. Uh, pull open. Oh, okay. Am I going the full screen now? I can't. Okay. I was going to pull open the annotation tools, but honestly, the, the zoom tools are covering the annotation. Uh Oh, that's all right. One, one more, more to the right. Yeah. One, one more, more to the right. right. Uh, now I, now I've done it. It, <laughs> you know, uh, let's just for the sake of demo purposes, um, let's just not even mess around with that. Um, I'll go ahead now and my iPad as well, uh, which again, iPads and iPhones are just using iOS, uh, uh, AirPlay. AirPlay. Yep. And here's this. So if I needed to uh, go ahead and, you know, we're showing two content side by side, uh, not a problem. And just since uh, I'm not so concerned about that warp factor now, let me go ahead and begin mirroring from the uh, PC computer. So, uh, but again, it looks a little, well, you know what? There we go. Nah, that's gonna look a little crazy because of the, the warp factor. So let me just go ahead and stop mirroring. Um, so it's just that easy. Um, I do even have, a uh, Android here uh, as well and uh, start mirroring from that device and uh, and here we are my son's uh, phone which uh, any Calvin and Hobbes fans on the uh, broadcast today uh, I think my son is kind of the living incarnate of Calvin actually actually might have something to do with how much of it he's read in his lifetime but uh, yeah, in the app, um, and uh, let's see, I even take this over here, and uh, I go full screen. Okay, so I just went full screen with the app, and um, and yeah, you can uh, see this is the uh, the Android app as well. So um, you know, I mean, that's kind of the demo. Oh, you know what? There is one more thing to go through. Uh, I mean, I didn't get to do that annotation because of the, uh, the, uh, I'm going to stop mirroring now. Confirm. Okay. I didn't get to do that annotation just because of the, uh, zoom pan, uh, blocking, but, um, I do want to, uh, switch over to the web GUI. Uh, Scott, Dwayne, you guys see this all right? Yep. Wonderful. Um, the uh, and you see the menu of uh, hey, type in the IP address to download on your for your Windows or Mac if you want to download that software instead of using the auto launcher. And if you are the admin here, then we just head over to admin access and. Uh, you know, the default password admin. You could also download the Android app here as well uh, as the KD Play Store if you needed, the manual, etc. Logging in. Jonathan, we're just seeing the splash screen if we're supposed to be seeing something else. Are you seeing the, uh, oh, you're just seeing the, the menu screen. Oh, I think that's because of the pinned video. Uh, hold on a moment. So uh, unpinned video probably. Okay. Uh, or, or not. Let's see. Oh, yes, that's right. Okay. So it's like inception here, man. So many, so many uh, <laughs> layers of sharing. Okay. How about now, Dwayne? See the, there you uh, go. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for calling that out. That's exactly, I knew I was going to do that early on in the, in the, in the webinar. I invited everyone to just shout at me if I did that. So yeah, so here's where I've connected. I've done the LAN connection mode versus Wi-Fi direct mode. Uh, I don't think we necessarily need to go into so many of these menu options here. 
Um, instead, uh, Chris, um, is there any uh, maybe uh, questions that might have come in or Dwayne and Scott, if there's anything further you guys would like to contribute? Uh, uh, right at this point, we're still waiting on questions, uh, guys. Uh, I do know how it works. We covered a lot today. If you guys have any questions after we hop off, you can definitely reach out to Key Digital, your call manager at Capital, myself, Jonathan, all the guys on the team. Uh, but since we got everybody on the phone right now, guys, if you have any questions, now's a great time to answer, ask them. Uh, just hop over to the question box and uh, punch it in, and we'll uh, be happy to answer for you. Yeah. Um, and guys, you should see the thank you screen on right now, correct? Correct. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, Dwayne, Scott, anything you'd like to add in? Well, I apologize for joining late. I was on another call, but uh, did you uh, discuss the, I know you weren't able to do the annotation, but how about the uh, extended uh, monitor capability? Did you touch on that feature? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Really, really important feature. I mean, uh, Chris, is it okay if we discuss MSRP of this product? MSRP should be just fine. And we did actually, oh, we did have that price uh, question come in. So definitely. <laughs> wow. It's uh, MSRP or ESP. Which one? Um, the uh, MSRP, uh, sales guys, correct me if I'm wrong, six ninety nine. That's your retail price. Um, and that dual, the reason I brought that up is a lot of guys have come to us inquiring about that dual monitor capability um, that are doing uh, systems from uh, uh, one of the largest companies in the industry that uh, in order to do that dual monitor system, you're looking at multiples of the cost of this product. And uh, so to have that dual monitor capability. Uh, just to remind you what I'm referring to, it was this slide, um, is absolutely huge. And at the price point, $6.99 retail, extremely affordable. Hey guys, one other thing also I'll, I'll bring to everybody's attention. Um, if you guys ever need a visual, because I'm sure everybody has that client that could read and learn and people that just want a visual we have what we call Fisher Price and Winnie the Pooh drawings. So some of these examples that you're seeing here, you could reach out to myself, Jonathan, Dwayne, and you're like, hey, I just want a visual to be able to relay that to a customer. So we have a plethora of uh, visuals that we can go through and send you. And if that works for you, you know, some, like I said, some people, a lot of people are visuals. You could write a novel and explain how this is going to work, but when they see the picture, they're like, oh, okay, I get it. Especially in the dual monitor, we have a lot of schools implementing where the teacher can go through um, and they're in class doing a uh, remote learning session. So you'll have a, uh, here where I'm in Jersey, they'll have a, a small percentage of the class there and then everybody else remotely. But so now, the teacher can look forward and go through, see the kids that are on the Zoom, see the kids that are present. Um, we see a lot of creativity of uh, teachers to, uh, trying to do some workarounds uh, to make everything happen for them doing remote learning. So, I mean, we got a bunch of different solutions. Um, so please don't hesitate, just shoot us an email. The overall email is sales at keydigital.com. That goes out to everybody. And like Jonathan says, we work as a team. So that way it's going out to everybody. So that way <clears throat> you get a response within myself and Dwayne, I'd say probably within five minutes. Um, so we kind of pride ourselves on that because obviously your, uh, your client's gonna want an answer, your dealer's gonna want an answer. So we try to go through and respond uh, as fast as possible. So there is never a, uh, a dumb question or a silly question. Please just ask so we can come up with some creative solutions for you. Absolutely. And um, I'm not trying to, I'm not being distracted. I just kind of wanted to show you guys, not a lot of motion in here, but um, just a, uh, you know, an example. I was streaming NHL Stanley Cup finals last night from my laptop to this perfect video you never lose the puck or anything. It's not glitchy. Compare that to some of the 
uh, uh, BYOD systems that are out there where they just do not handle video well at all. Um, so I'll add to that, the, probably the one that you all know of, uh, and I'm not going to, uh, you know, it's Voldemort. I'm not going to speak the name, but uh, <laughs> if you run like just just a simple PowerPoint and you put an animation where you like flip a chart and it just comes in, you'll notice it stops. It's glitchy. You don't have that with our device. And that was one of the main things that we uh, were told our engineers, the video has to be flawless. It has to be smooth and, and, uh, and, and, you know, for a fraction of the cost, we do that. Yeah. Yeah. Is there, so guys, is there any way that I get rid of this zoom uh, control doc at the bottom? I really would like to. It's kind of yeah. hard to uh, ditch that. Yes. To answer the question, this is available now. So get, get with your capital sales rep and uh, get your pricing. It is shipping. We ah, ship we quite a few. Matter of fact, I think uh, Scott, you just shipped out to a school system, about 50 of these units, I believe. Yeah, so we have a lot of schools that are implementing. So I have a dealer that is there you go. Uh, putting each one of these in a classroom so the teacher can go through and present directly uh, to, um, you know, they're at their desk. They can go through and basically broadcast to a screen. They have a camera set up. So uh, it's been really uh, interesting. Yep. So, uh, so yeah, say I'm in the... Uh, I'm a teacher and, uh, you know, I'm just trying to emphasize a point that the T and estar is for temporary, right? So here we are, temporary, and I'm doing this all in a mirror. So you guys see that there? You see those lines? Yep. Okay. And then, it, so this is annotation. Now I'm doing it with the mouse. Doesn't look all that convenient. If I'm at a smart board, if I'm at an interactive display, a, a touchscreen monitor or uh, have the overlay, which are pretty affordable actually to yeah. pick up. Um, you, don't have, you don't have to have an actual whiteboard, just a touchscreen monitor. Exactly. And then I could come over here to uh, save this and I could either name it if I did have a, a keyboard connected to my BYOD 4K on the, on the USB hub or the USB ports. And I can use a hub or I just say decide by the system here what the name is. And, uh, and actually, this is what it looks like here. And so I'm going to go ahead and, you know, we're going to get that inception thing going on. But I'm going to, you can see right now, open in Safari. And this is how you download your, uh, your picture here. Now, this actual interface, file on base unit, this is actually uh, being updated as we speak. Uh, you know, it's pretty bland right here. But uh, we, you get your image this way, and you, say, you save it to your... Uh, to your uh, photos. Um, and similarly, um, we actually, there's an entire project. You might have seen, seen the, the w word used before, project. So say you're having a creative session. It's obviously you don't want to be doing this, you know, each and every time there's a, a note that's made or on the whiteboard, every single thing. You could save the project and retrieve that entire project as well. So, um, you know, I'm glad we were able to do this. I, I kind of adjusted things. It might look a little smaller on the screen right, right now. I'm not 100% certain, but uh, <clears throat> but this is uh, this is what it. Uh, th this note notation is is a huge uh, popular uh, trend right now with uh, conference rooms and whatnot. So, um, Jonathan, on real time in motion, is there any way it won't let me share my camera? Okay, stand by. Hold on a moment, Scotty. No worries. Just wanted to show somebody an example real quick. All right. So I'm doing a... Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Zoom. Oh, okay. Uh, you want to share your content, you said? Yeah, if we just go... So if I cancel the spotlight video. Or if right. it just allows to start video, like it won't let. Okay. Uh, the only, oh, the only visual is you. I'm not sharing, so I'm not sure. That, yeah. 
Not sure. Uh, did I get a request? I have like, no, nah, I don't think so. Um, okay. Excellent. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Scott. Uh, any idea, any, you want to just describe what you're going for there? I was, I was just going to show him full motion. It just has my camera off and you're the only visual. So we're okay. 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 Uh, oh yeah. Uh, casting, uh, yep. full motion. Yep. Mm, stand by. Let's see here. Let me see if I can't find something that is, uh, Trying to find just a video on my phone. But Jonathan, if it's doing it through the USB capture device, it may still be blurry, so that might not be a good way to show it. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, let's see. Here's our uh, here's our European um, uh, office uh, vacuuming at our trade show booth. How about that? <laughs> that actually looks really good. It does look pretty good. <laughs> Okay. Okay. We're having enough fun. <laughs> Another question coming in. Is there a sales video that we can download and share to the prospective customer? Absolutely. Um, on here, it says anonymous attendee. Um, I can go through, Jonathan, do you want to pull up uh, the YouTube link real quick? Um, uh, the one on our YouTube uh, page link actually is a really nice recap um, of the BYOD device. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see here. So I can put it too. I think uh, I'll put it in the chat window for everybody. Oh yeah, good idea. Good idea. Yeah, if I just share my screen. Um, are you talking about uh, the? All right, can you guys see my web screen right now? My browser. Yeah, I got it. This actually came out pretty good. Dwayne, do you happen to see that or Scott? Yeah, um, well, I was I was getting the link to post in there that's on actually on the website too. I did post that out, and I will send this into the complete chat window. All participants. Yeah, that's the same one. It's on our website as well. You and I both Very both good. There, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, okay. for, thanks for doing that, guys. Um, Chris, Capital Sales Team, um, anything further you guys would like to uh, add with or any closing statements? I think you nailed it. Uh, really, the only thing I would say again is just to remind you, uh, we all know the questions are come up either whether it's today, tomorrow, next week, your next project. Uh, do not hesitate to reach out to the guys at Key Digital, to reach out to the Capital Sales team, myself, anybody on this call. Uh, we're all excited to talk to you. A lot of us are stuck remote at home, and we really look forward to those calls. So <laughs> <laughs> definitely don't hesitate to give us a call. We'd love to chat with you on the, your project. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Chris, thanks so much for hosting. Um, Really appreciate the opportunity to teach you guys about this product. And uh, everybody have a fantastic rest of the day. Thanks, Dwayne and Scott, and, as well. Uh, one last thing. If you guys haven't heard, we are doing one of these every week for, I think, the next nine weeks. Uh, same time, same day of the week. So if you got time next Tuesday, definitely hop on. We look forward to having you guys.